In this demonstration, we'll take a look at how to configure a match condition on a firewall filter within the Juno's OS. So I've already got the firewall filter created. It's called my firewall filter. And what I want to do is I want to create a term, which is a group of match conditions and actions, resulting actions to take based off those match conditions. So what I want to do is create an additional term with inside this firewall filter. So I'm going to use the set command and I'm going to use set term. I'm going to specify the term name is going to be my term two. And then after I specify the term name, then I can specify the from keyword to define a match condition. So we can specify one or more match conditions with inside this term. So I'm going to use the from keyword and then a question mark and you'll see a whole number of different characteristics of the actual message that you can build a condition off of, right? So some examples are you can check the destination address if you wanted to, you can check the destination port, you can do a destination port accept test if you wanted to. We also have ICMP types and codes to check on ICMP messages. So that could be very useful. We can do a check on the interface if we wanted to, all the different IP options. We can check to see if the packet is fragmented. Check on the port, either the source or destination port. Check on the protocol. We can do kind of a reverse of that and check to see if the protocol is everything except, you know, a certain protocol, a source port and a source address. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and match based off the source address. I want to check to see if the packet's coming from, let's say, the 192.168.5.0 network. So set term, my term to from, and that is a source address of 192.168.5.0 slash 24. And then what am I going to do if the message is from this source address? So then I can use the enter keystroke here. And I'm going to do a set term, my term two, and I'm going to say then, and then I'm going to use my question mark here, right? So I can accept the packet if I want to, or I can discard the packet, or I can go and reject the packet. And reject it is sending of a, a reply, a reset signal back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard the packet. And if I use my show command, I can take a look at our firewall filter so far. So I created another term in a previous demonstration. So I got uh, term FW term one. So in this firewall filter, the first term will execute. It'll check to see if the packet is destined for port 80. If it is, it'll accept it. If not, then it continues on through the test and it goes and checks term two, which checks to see if the source address is from the 5.0 network. If it is, then it goes and discards it. So these are examples of um, kind of terminating actions in the sense that um, even if I did have other terms, once those terminating actions are reached, the packet is either going to be accepted or discarded. So in this demonstration, we saw how to set up a match condition within the Juniper's OS.